Marjorie Elaine Harvey is an American fashion designer who has a net worth of $50 million. Marjorie Harvey is an American fashion designer, blogger, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. She is best recognized for being Steve Harvey's third wife. She is also known for her fashion blog, The Lady Loves Couture. Due to her popularity, most fans have been curious about her wealth and love life. Marjorie Harvey's husband, Steve Harvey, is a famous TV host, stand-up comedian, actor, producer, and author. He is popularly known for hosting shows like The Steve Harvey Show and Celebrity Family Feud. Marjorie and her husband founded the Steve and Marjorie Harvey Foundation. Additionally, Marjorie Harvey's net worth has grown tremendously throughout her career. The entrepreneur and her husband own several properties across the USA. They purchased the Atlanta mansion from actor Tyler Perry in 2020 for $15 million. The 35,000-square-foot mansion has an underground ballroom, gym, SPA, theater, infinity pool, wine cellar, illuminated tennis court, and guest house. The couple's other properties include a 9,258-square-foot house in Atlanta, Georgia, a 5,135-square-foot home in Frisco, Texas, and a 7,430-square-foot property in Little Elm, Texas, USA. The duo also has a car collection. The vehicles they have ever owned include a 1941 Cadillac convertible, Bentley Mulsanne, Rolls-Royal Phantom, Rolls-Royal Ghost, Ferrari 458, Ford Edge, and Chevrolet Bel Air convertible. The American blogger was born on October 10, 1964 in Chicago, Illinois, United States. She is 59 years old as of June 2024, and her zodiac sign is Libra. Her mother is called Doris Bridges. Elaine joined the University of Memphis but dropped out to pursue her passion for fashion. Marjorie is a fashion designer, blogger, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. She started a fashion blog, The Lady Loves Couture, in 2007. She writes about several fashion topics, such as tours, etiquette, empowerment and tips on how to live lavishly. In 2016, the blogger launched a consignment shop, Marjorie Harvey's Closet, selling couture sunglasses, handbags, and clothes. She also owns MH Handbags, a collection that sells clutches, fierce totes, and bag accessories. She launched it in 2020. Marjorie and her husband founded the Steve and Marjorie Harvey Foundation in 2010. It aims to provide youth outreach services that help them succeed and become responsible leaders. Steve and Marjorie met in 1990 at a comedy club in Memphis, Tennessee, where Steve performed. They dated for a short period before parting ways. However, in 2005, the two reconnected and began dating again. Steve's marriage with his second wife had just ended. The two narrated their meeting during the 2018 The Steve Harvey Show episode. Marjorie stated, I was late and I thought he was gonna give me the business because he got real quiet. He was just staring at me. I thought I was going to become part of the show. He finally realized, oh I gotta say something. He was, like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know who this is, but I'm gonna marry her. The couple tied the knot on June 25, 2007. They have children from their past marriages. Steve Harvey has twin daughters, Brandy and Carly, and a son, Broderick, with his first wife, Marsha Harvey. He also has a son, Winton, from his second wife, Mary Shackelford. The fashion designer has three children, Morgan, Jason and Lori, who were legally adopted by Steve. Marjorie and Steve have more than six grandchildren. The two are still married. However, rumors about Steve Harvey's divorce spread online in August 2023, that Marjorie was seeking divorce due to an alleged cheating with their chef and bodyguard. The two denied the allegations. Steve spoke about it during an Invest Fest Marketplace 2023 event in Atlanta. He said, Before I get started, just let me say I'm fine. We're fine. I don't know what y'all doing but find something else to do because we're fine. Lord have mercy. Man, I ain't got no time for rumors and gossip. God's been good to me, I'm still shinning. The fashion blogger also took to Instagram and shared a screenshot of biblical scripture and a guide on handling being lied about. Here is part of her caption, my husband and I don't usually stop to address all the foolishness and lies that have been spread about us. However to whom much is given much is required. Steve spoke highly of his wife in his acceptance speech at the Griot Awards in November 2023. He mentioned, the woman right there, has, been down with me like four flat tires. That woman has been faithful to me, loyal to me. 85% of what y'all up here, are, talking to me about happened after I married that girl right there. Marjorie Harvey's net worth reflects her success as a fashion designer, blogger, and entrepreneur. She is best known as Steve Harvey's wife and a co-founder of the Steve and Marjorie Harvey Foundation. Real Estate Steve Harvey is sharing the crucial role his wife, Marjorie Harvey,
played in securing their $15 million mansion during the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2020, he television personality purchased the Buckhead Mansion formerly owned by Tyler Perry. There were rumors at the time about who purchased the lavish 35,000-square-foot French provincial estate, via Buckhead. It didn't take too long for details of the deed to leak online and reveal Steve and Marjorie were listed as the new rightful property owners. Three years later, the comedian-slash-businessman is shared how the home might not have been his had it not been for his determined wife. According to the original Kings of Comedy star, he was hesitant to purchase the home at the time due to how the pandemic was impacting his income. But it was Marjorie who had to remind Steve, who was once homeless, about who he is and why he shouldn't worry about shelling out a few million for a new home. She said, Steve, you don't know how much money you got. You make it. I watch it, Steve shared on Shannon Sharp's Club Shay Shay podcast. It was Marjorie, whom Steve has been married to since 2007, who decided to take the lead in securing the deal. Car Collection Steve and her wife's third most expensive car is a Bentley Mulsanne. Most people think of this $310,000 car as the father of the Bentley family. It has a 6.75L twin-turbocharged V8 engine that can make more than 505 brake horsepower. The Mulsanne is the perfect mix of style and substance. It takes less than 5 seconds to go from 0 to 60, and it has a lot of power and moves quickly. Even though the car was originally worth more than $300,000, the Mulsanne will no longer be made after 2020, so this car is not only a flashy sign of wealth but will also become a highly sought-after collector's item over time. Rolls-Royce Phantom Steve adores Rolls-Royce. The Rolls-Royce Phantom is one of the best cars in the world and the most luxurious Rolls-Royce to afford. As the name suggests, it is the most powerful Rolls-Royce ever made. The Phantom combines luxury with an ultra-refined twin-turbo V12 engine that makes 563 horsepower. Although the Phantom has a long hood and a heavy body, it can still go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.1 seconds. The car is made to last for decades, and if you have deep pockets, you can own one. Rolls-Royce Dawn. The last Rolls-Royce you would see in Harvey's wife garage is the Dawn, as of now. Another British extravaganza that looks amazing and is made to get the most out of any Rolls-Royce. The Dawn has a 6.6-liter twin-turbo V12 engine that can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.3 seconds and makes more than 563 horsepower. The best thing about the Rolls-Royce Dawn is that it can be turned into a convertible, which makes it the most fun Rolls-Royce car. Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe Steve Harvey does not own the white Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead. He gave the brand new Rolls-Royce to his wife for her 50th birthday. The fact that the couple has been seen driving the convertible more than once shows how much they both like it. As for the price, the Phantom Drophead starts at $492,000, and it is said that Steve paid more than $500,000 with all the customizations. The Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead convertible has a 6.75-liter V12 engine that draws air in on its own. The V12 has an 8-speed automatic transmission and makes 563 horsepower and 664 lbft of torque. Third-party estimates say the convertible can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds and can reach a top speed of 155 miles per hour.